Hey friends, here we are back in my studio for another pour today. I'm using these nice light colors and I'm using all Extreme Sheen except for the Folk Art Champagne. Now the Extreme Sheen Blue here is Sapphire, but I added a little bit of Artist Loft Soft Body White to it just to lighten it up a little bit to match the sort of the tones, the hues of the purple and the aquamarine. And those again are Extreme Sheen. And then I have my um, champagne. So my black, I'm back to experimenting. Uh, this is Artist Loft Soft Body Black with a mixture of another paint, um, Floetrol, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium and water. So we're gonna see how this works today. These paints are awfully thin and I'm gonna do a pour on a 24 by 30 canvas. I'm gonna prep it in just a second here. We'll get started and fingers crossed, we have a great result. Okay guys, hold on. Okay, friends, here we are back with the wet results. Uh, it filled in really quickly. I was only really away for 15 minutes, and I think this is about all we're going to get. Um, yeah, I'm still working on consistency. Um, these were thin all the way around. Even the dump paint was thin, and it allowed for a lot of cells to form. Now, my only concern is going to be in the negative space to see if they stay the way they are, or if the cells that circle the negative space sort of get distorted. But let me show you just some of the cells. See, I, I know Extreme Sheen has such great reaction to the paints um, and pouring and doing um, dump and swirl or colander pour. I haven't used it in a while because sometimes it takes over. Um, but I'm liking this, <laughs> actually. Um, the colors are very soft. Um, I think that's also really nice. It's sort of, you know, heading into the Easter season here. So let me show you down at the other side. I don't step on any thing down here. 
yeah, see, um, see these cells are big and they're juicy. You know, a lot of interesting dimension to them. Um, I just, I just don't know if it's going to change anymore. I'm not really sure if it will. I mean, I hope not. Um, you know, I can touch up in the in the negative space as need be, uh, just a little bit, just to make it look a little, a little different. But I like the overall, the rest of the composition, all the cells. Yeah. So here's my secret. I don't know if it's really much of a secret, but. Um, it's hard to get the right consistency. And so what I used was um, Amsterdam's Payne's Gray, about a half a part mixed with one part of the Artist Loft Soft Body Black. Now, um, another artist, and you know, this was several weeks ago, gave me um, the idea <clears throat> of using Amsterdam as he uses them in his dump and swirls. But the consistency becomes the issue about how thick, how thin, um, you know, and then also comparison with the, the um, color paint, you know, how thick and how thin that as well. So I think overall it's working well with the Amsterdam and the Artist Loft Soft Body Black. Um, it just comes down for me about the consistency. And I'll be honest with you, um, next time I pour, I'm going to make it just a tad thicker all the way around so that the cells as well as the, uh, I'm sorry, the puddle paints as well as the dump paint are all the same color. Okay, guys, uh, we'll see if I get another one in this week or towards the end of the week. That'd be great, but we'll catch you later. You guys have a great start to your week.